Let's pull up the standings to see how the board is set for our final week of the North American Spring Split. Alone in first for another day, it's LMQ. And picking up speed in second place is Cloud9 and TSM. Now just one game off of the lead. Then in fourth, it is CLG. And in fifth place, it's going to be Dignitas with an even 12 wins, 12 losses. Then it's Curse in sixth, Complexity in seventh, and even Evil Geniuses are sitting in last. And there have been a ton of great plays this week, but a few players went above and beyond. So here now are our OP5. In the top lane, it's Balls, who remains undefeated on Rise and snapped LMQ's seven-game winning streak. Amazing had another great week in the jungle, winning two games without a single death. He also remains undefeated on Elise with eight wins on that champion. And in the mid lane, it's going to be Bjergsen, who is looking like our spring MVP once again. He had a huge impact on Syndra, landing numerous skill shots to help TSM take control of their game against Counter Logic Gaming. OP as AD carry, it is sneaky. He has been a consistent impact player for Cloud9, and they once again end the week with a perfect 2-0 record. And last, but not least, it's going to be Lust Boy. You can already see the level of play has risen on Team Solomit, and he turned in two solid games, landing a ton of bindings and bubbles for his new team. But the player who broke away from the rest of the pack this week was Balls. Yesterday, Balls showed that he can play the tank with his huge Mundo going where he pleases, and then today he went back to Rise, and he was dishing out the damage. Cloud9 arguably had the toughest schedule this week, and they looked like a team that has dominated North American League of Legends in the past. Yeah, it seems like he's loving to get the 1v1 matchups, and everybody's liking to see more 1v1 matchups in the top lane. It's just perfect. More glory, more glory and more awesome. More, more gold is what they more like. Gold. gold. <laughs> I should have put that in there. That was really good. Something, obviously, stay tuned for is we're going to have more games coming up on the Challenger Series. Something that you don't want to miss. And actually, we're ready for that. Before we hand it over to Freak and Zyrene for the North American Challenger Series, don't forget that next week we'll be ending the summer split with a bang. Starting on Tuesday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Central European Summertime, we'll be bringing you an all-new preview show. And then the European LCS gets underway with Gambit versus the Copenhagen and Wolves. After that, Rocket will battle it out with the number one alliance, followed by the Copenhagen Wolves taking on Fnatic. That's right, and the North American LCS returns on Friday with Curse versus Complexity. And then Cloud9 will square off against Evil Geniuses. As always, you can get the entire schedule over on LOLEsports.com. Now, before we kick off our Challenger Series coverage, let's take a quick look.